Hello friends, Marcy here. Um, I arrived home from work a few minutes ago and I was very pleased to receive an order from Atlas Stationers. Um, again, I received an email them with a discount and um, I couldn't resist because the, the offer was too awesome. Anyway, I was totally surprised today to receive, this isn't the shipping box, the shipping box was huge and I first suspected that they sent me my ink vent calendar that I pre-ordered in July but I wasn't expecting it till sometime in October and it's only September. Anyway um upon opening it I was pleasantly surprised I haven't done anything except take it out of the shipping package and then unwrapping the bubble wrap um from this very large box. I was not expecting this very large box. So there's the the pen that I ordered. And you can see it's a pelican and the bottle of ink that I ordered. And it is a muddy, let's see if I can do this, muddy bucket um, by Robert, Robert Oster. And I purposely ordered it for my um, latest pelican in smoky quartz. I've been enjoying that pen immensely. I'll talk about the ink that I've been using in it since it arrived. Um, and here's the gorgeous sticker from Atlas Stationers, their 35th annual sidewalk sale sticker. So um, I am using a light from my window as well as a desk lamp. So you might get some sunset shadows or light um, rays on my products and if it's if I notice it's a problem I will fix it but here's a new design postcard from Atlas Stationers. They are a brick and mortar store in Chicago, Illinois so hey have a groovy pen day so and I I couldn't tell you the name of the signature there but I do enjoy the personalization on a little postcard journaling card it's wonderful. Um, so excited to get into this. Let's see what we got here. I, let's see what this is. Not anything. It says GS 101 N 1937. Okay. So I do remember that this pen model that I ordered is like a replica of a 1937 model. I do remember that. Um, I was just totally surprised to be able to receive this. Let me see if it's easier here. Um, I was totally surprised to be able to receive this because when I first saw it as an item to purchase on the sale, I actually had to go and research it a bit. Um, I wasn't familiar with this pen model. And so my research was Pleasantly surprised. Oh my, that's nice. All my other Pelican boxes are just like this large. I've never received one this large. So this is a new experience and I'm enjoying it. I'm glad you're here with me to enjoy it. And if you hear the little jingles, that's Colby. He's, he gets excited when I talk to people. He doesn't know who I'm talking to, but it makes him happy. Um, he's my little black poodle. And he's trying to get the German Shepherd Remington to play, but she's not into it. So it looks like I have a drawer here, but let me see what this says. Pelican, Gunther Wagner, Hanover, and I'm not sure what to pronounce this as. So if you know, you can enlighten me. I don't know, but I do know that Gunther Wagner was... Um, either founder or developer somehow this is really a tight drawer um in pelican i've read oh there's a bottle of ink in here oh my okay so this is getting better and better um let's see let's pull this out and this shape of this ink bottle reminds me of the Pelican 4001 ink bottle that I have, kind of the shape of it. And again, this is the same kind of design. 
on the bottle label as on the box, but it, it does say 4001. Wow. And that little ink spot right there shows it is blue ink in the bottle. I don't know if you're able to see with, there we go, some of the light showing through my bottle, the color. Let's peek inside and we have here on the top cap, the mama and one baby pelican. Oh, that's very pretty. That would look gorgeous in my uh, pelican blue marble, I think. So we'll give it a whirl in there once I empty that. So pretty. I didn't know I was getting like a um, collector set or gift set or whatever they call it. I thought I was just ordering the pen. And so I will um, post a picture here. of the pen, uh, the screen, a screenshot of the pen that I um, was ordering. I didn't know it was gonna be all this fabulous um, pizzazz. So this is our warranty book and warranty information included on the back. Well, that's just a little step down there for the pen to sit here nicely. And this material here in the box is it feels like this it's a pleather or a fake leather so wow i'm surprised with uh the packaging the box the ink bottle i was not expecting that i thought i just ordered the pen so yes it was a little more a little more expensive but i thought because it was like uh out of stock Pen, and this is on the little tab it says gray blue that's the colors and M 101 N and I do have a medium nib which um, I purposely ordered this is similar to the blue marble that I have, but not really marble, it's more of a stripe. Here, and it's gorgeous. I don't know if you can see on the camera, maybe here. It looks um, very deep in like a 3D with the, the glistening. Anyway. Oh, I'm enamored. Um, it has a black uh, cap and piston knob here with uh, silver trim on the clip. Oh, that's tight. Silver trim on the clip and the band here. There's no silver trim band at the bottom. But I do want to show you. Let's see. I'm already noticing. This is all my other Pelicans have been the M200. 205 or 400. Um, I'm trying to get some light to shine here. It's engraved right above the clip here. It says Pelican. There we go. You can see a little bit of that. And it looks like a pocket pen already to me. It's very small in my hand. So I'll do some comparisons, but let me move some of this out of the way so I can do that with you because to compare, I need to bring out some more materials um, to show you. First off, uh, the other Pelicans that I have in my collection, and I was stopping here. I was totally satisfied with these. These are all, this is the M200, 200, 200, and 400. Um, this is the white tortoise shell with the gold trims. The golden barrel in the M200. The smoky quartz M200 and the blue marble M205. So um, that's the size of the pens and this one does look Oops, just a tad smaller, not much. Maybe a quarter of a centimeter here. Just a tad right here, shorter. 
um, capped. I know that the the cap here, let's check this out. The cap is longer, just a tad longer here than the other pins. They're all the same size. So that may be the difference. And the piston knob, that makes the pin look shorter because the piston knob is longer, the cap is longer, and the barrel, the decorative barrel is shorter. So that does um, lead the eye to see a smaller pocket pin. All right. So I'm gonna scoop these aside. We're gonna take the caps off of them. But first I want to, let's see, let's do a um, screw cap test. We have half turn, three, okay, three quarters of a turn to remove the cap just as in the other Pelicans. I'm pleased with that. And here is our ink window. Um, this is a medium nib. We'll look at the other nibs to see. There's the insignia there. There is no decoration. Okay, there is a decoration on the finial here, the cap finial. It is not colored, it's just um, engraved. If you can see the mama bird and the baby here. Just engraved as is the name above the band there. All right, so let's look at, let's just use there, these are all the same size. Let's just use this one as a comparison size. So our cap and our barrel uh, nibbed in. Again, it's about the same. You can see the comparison here to the caps. There's two bands here. And I love the idea. This is not... Um, a vintage pen. It is like a replica of a 1937 model pen. So same uh, piston filler system. Let's see if we can see the piston. There it is. Very smooth to operate. And let's check these nibs. Okay. You can see a slight difference here. I'm sorry, I um, take the time to focus where the nib size is different. I'm not sure to give it a number nib size. This um, new one is the medium and this one is fine. You can see the breather holes not in the same shape. The shoulders are a little taller and wider. It says Pelican on the new one. I do not have the equipment to give you, okay, this one has some numbers and a word, and this one has the Pelican insignia design there. I do not have the equipment to give like close up um, features, uh, detail features of all of that, but I'm hoping that you can get a good idea. The nibs look like the same style I'm sorry, the nib feeds look the same style. And the grip section is about the same length. Maybe there's more threads on this one here. Wow. Okay, so it's it almost tricks you into being a pocket pen, but not really. It's about the same size as my other Pelicans, the M200 and uh, 400 line. So let's get um, some ink to ink this up with. And, you know, I do want to ink this uh, blue marble with the ink that came in this gift set just because I think it would be a fabulous match. Um, but it's currently inked, so let's just go ahead and ink this gray-blue with the ink that came with. And do a quick writing test. So when we ink, we're going to immerse uh, the nib feed down to the breather hole so that we have some suction to draw up ink. And I'm not going to try to get a full fill today. If I want a full fill, I could repeat the process several times. I just want to put enough ink in there to do a writing test and I know I do want to change 
um, the inks out soon. So see, I'm going in at an angle so we can make sure that we, we're not sucking in any air here. Let's see, I forgot, did I put my plunger down before I started? No, I did not, so there we go. Um, remember along with me, and you're probably saying, Marcy, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, it's too much talking. Okay, and that ink window, wow, that's a nice fill. And I didn't even want a full fill, so I'm just gonna wipe off the grip section here. cap our what is the I don't see an actual name unless it's in another language that I'm just not able to read I know it's blue but I don't see an actual descriptive name on that ink bottle all right so um I have my larger rhodia pa uh, pad is over there but I want to start using the shorter one because that larger pad is so large when I get close enough for y'all to see on the camera um, my pen gets out of frame so we're gonna start with the name let me see if I can get in here the pelican name okay and already I'm noticing that I'm actually holding this pen um, unposted on the thread section instead of the finger grip section because the finger grip section seems like it's too close for me here that's the comfortable hold for me and let's try posted so let me share that with you when I post it it goes over the piston knob and it posts securely there on the body so you're not worried about turning it but it's nice it's a nice hold for me unposted it's just the the length um, a distance from my fingers to the paper that caused me to hold it here on the threaded section so oh wow I forgot to mention this is a 14 karat gold nib <laughs> which uh, there we go and my surprise with um, the soft uh, flexibility in the pen on my first stroke lovely this feels amazing and this is a Pelican M101N. Um, it is a like a reproduction or replica of a 1937 model. It's not a vintage pen, so and it just said uh, gray blue on the title. So it it feels very smooth to write with like butter you can say and my upstrokes are thinner and my downstrokes are thicker in the writing so this ink performs well it um shades i can you can see from the beginning to the end it kind of pulls and shades so this, this nib should do um, fabulous work with some of my beautiful shading inks that I'm anxious to experiment with in my book. Okay, when I'm putting my hand there, I apologize, it's causing the uh, paper to blur. Let's see if I can get a different angle here. I don't want to blur you out. But I do not know the name of this blue ink. It is just an ink that came in the blue ink um, from the gift set. It doesn't really have a name, but I will investigate that because I'll need to know. And I was totally surprised to find the total gift set. And this is a medium nib, which brings me to another story. Um, I was so excited when I received, let me cap this just a moment. I was so excited when I received um, my last uh, smoky quartz I thought it was a medium nib because I had broad broad and fine and I thought this was medium but after uh, I received it I realized I'd ordered extra fine so I thought oh no my four pins and I don't have a medium and when this one came available it was actually in a medium nib and it's like well 
that completes my nib size set as far as what I plan to use. So I think it all worked well. I got the sale. I got um, a unique pen. I got the missing nib to my collection. And I think all is well. So I am going to sign off now and I have more to share with you, um, namely inking this, but I have to um, flush out some pens so I can re-ink this. I wanna use it in the Smoky Quartz. I think that's gonna be an amazing, amazing match, even though I'm totally satisfied with the ink in here. I'm so satisfied with the ink in here, by the way, which was a sample of the DME Winter Spice. I ordered the full bottle and it arrived today in a separate shipment from another company. So yeah, I'm just impressed. And I plan on inking this one with the Winter Spice because, well, you'll see. You'll see in another video. Um, thanks for spending some of your precious moments with me. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.